What's going on guys, my name's Theoatrix and today I'm going through a range of external Runelight plugins that give huge enhancements. All of these plugins are made by people in the old school community. All of them have been verified by the official Runelight developers to be safe plugins. To find these external plugins, you go to the plugins panel on Runelight and scroll all the way to the bottom where it says plugin hub. Here, there is around 100 external plugins that you can install completely for free. So in this video, I'm going to go through the best and most powerful ones. A quick reminder, the Vorkarf gaming mouse pads and the farming mouse pads are both available for pre-order on my merch store. The Vorkarf design is almost out of stock already and it's still in the pre-order stage. So if you want to get your hands on one, make sure you pre-order as soon as possible. Otherwise, you won't be able to get one for quite a long time. Anyways, let's get into the plugins. The first plugin I'm showing you is easily one of the most well-made plugins out there, and it's called Quest Helper. This plugin essentially takes you through an entire quest without having to follow a guide on a separate screen. In the sidebar, you search and select which quest you want to do and then it automatically syncs to your current position in the quest. Then it tells you exactly where you need to go, what items you need, as well as the order of the future steps. Everything is inbuilt into the client, so when you're close to the next step, an arrow shows up on the minimap telling you where to go. It then highlights the door, NPC, or other object that you need to interact with in order to progress with the quest. The only downside of this plugin is it doesn't have every quest available yet. However, the developer Zoinkwiz is constantly adding new quests, with the most recent one added only 9 hours ago. So yeah, that's Quest Helper by Zoinkwiz. The second plugin I'm showing is called Map Waypoints, and this plugin allows you to go to your world map and right click anywhere and set a waypoint. Once you set a waypoint, it tells you which direction you need to go on the main game screen to reach your goal. It also has a steps counter for how far away you are from your current destination. This plugin is great for newer players to get a better sense of direction, but can also be useful for things like questing or navigating the wilderness. The next one is called BA Minigame, and this one has a huge range of improvements and indicators for every role in Barbarian Assault. It integrates a timer for when you need to call next, it displays the number of eggs in each of the cannons, and it shows you how well your team went at the end of every round, showing the number of points that each player received, as well as how well each person did in terms of their mistakes and efficiency. For the attacker role, it it automatically highlights the correct arrows to be using corresponding to the current call, and it also highlights the correct attack style. For defenders, it highlights the correct bait in your inventory that you should be using. It also highlights the hammer and logs on the ground which is needed to repair the traps. As a collector, the plugin can highlight all of the correct eggs that you need to pick up. It also adds a counter so you can see how many eggs you've collected, which gives you a good indication of how well you're going to do that round. As a healer, it highlights the correct food item that you need to be using in order to poison the penance healer. Is. The next plugin is called Bank Value Tracker, and the name speaks for itself. It can track each tab individually or your entire bank, and it graphs the value of it over time. You can select a range of timeframes to see when certain changes happened, which makes it a great tool for rebuilding and tracking your progress. You could also use it to see how much money you're making from bossing or other money-making methods every day, every week, or every month. Next is Flipping Utilities, and this is a must for people that are flipping for money. When you buy and sell one of an item on the Grand Exchange, it automatically saves the values and calculates your profit margin. It then uses the Grand Exchange buy limits to work out the potential profit that you can make from that item with the buy limit, and it also states the return on investment. In the statistics column, it tracks your hourly profit and total number of flips, giving a big break down of all of the items you've been flipping. Overall, there's really nothing out there like this that does it all automatically for you. It's easily the best tool for flipping and it's completely free. 
The next one is called Fight Cave Waves, and this one shows you the current and upcoming monsters that are going to spawn. This plugin also works for the Inferno, and is a great tool for learners to know what to pray and when. Bank Tab Names allows you to label each bank tab and customize its colors and font as well. This is great for bank organization. You can add tabs like farming, birdhouses, bossing, pretty much anything you can think of, and it makes it way easier to distinguish than just by looking at an item. The next plugin is Bats Locator, and this one helps you find the bats and poison chests in the thieving room of the Chambers of Zeric. There's a specific number of configurations for this room created by Jagex, so with that, the plugin can easily work out and tell you where each thing is. Once you find poison or a bat, it shows you which chests to avoid as well as the bats for extra points. Now this next plugin is a functionality that Runelight should have, but for some reason they don't include it. Essence Pouch tells you how much essence is in each of your rune pouches, which is great for all aspects of runecrafting. This means you won't ever try to empty an already empty pouch, and you also won't accidentally leave any behind. If you're an Iron Man, you'll know that stealing jewelry and alking it in the ham storeroom is a great moneymaker. Sometimes though, it can be tricky to locate which key corresponds to which chest. So with the ham storeroom's plugin, it tells you which chests you can open with the keys in your invent. This saves you from trying to find the right chest and overall increases the amount of GP per hour that you'll get. Tackling organized crime is a great way to get Shazian favor, hard clues, and also a great source of planks for Iron Man. With the Shazian organized crime plugin, you can log into a bunch of different worlds and check the location of crime, and it automatically records each location and the time of each event. This lets you more easily plan where you need to be and at what time, without having to write it all down and work it out for yourself. The last plugin is a must for content creators or anyone that wants to make a skit or video with RuneScape footage. The Detached Camera plugin allows you to fly freely around the map and even have your character walking around so you can do emotes or walk through the recording. To move the camera, you use WASD and you can hold down Shift to make the camera move in slow mode. So that's all of the plugins I wanted to show you guys today. All of them are listed down in the description with their timestamps. So if you forgot what one of them was and want to install it, you can easily find it down below. A reminder to pre-order your Vorkath gaming mouse pad before it's too late. And there's also three other designs, the Fire Cape, Farming and Wilderness design. If you want to save 10% on any pre-order, you can use the coupon code EARLYBIRD, which will be valid and working for the next 48 hours. So yeah, the link to my merch store is down below. Anyways, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this kind of video, and if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and help me reach 200k. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.